Good news, everyone. The recently released fan-developed PC port of Perfect Dark works fantastically well on the Steam Deck, and it just takes a couple of minutes to set up as well, which is really great. So I'm going to quickly talk through how to do that, how to get it going on the Steam Deck, how to make sure you can play it in game mode, and how you can uh, customize the artwork and things like that as well once you've got it all up and running. Uh, the first big disclaimer here, obviously, before we get started, is that this is one of those, you know, uh, PC kind of uh, uh, ports that's based on a decompilation where basically the people behind the port are not going to provide you with any actual copyrighted files to run the game. So in order to make this port work, you have to have a ROM of Perfect Dark already before you start this process, okay? The GitHub of the folks who make this port, it's not going to list a ROM. I'm not going to list a ROM. These things are very easy to find. You should back up your own physical copy of Perfect Dark if you've got one. If you don't have one, you're on the internet. I trust you will find it. I believe in you. But just FYI, the GitHub won't link it. I'm not going to link it. You're going to have to source your own Perfect Dark ROM file. And the folks who make this port also recommend that you have the uh, most up-to-date 1.1 version of the NTSC uh, region ROM. So there's your disclaimer up front. Go get your ROM, figure that out first, then come back here and we will get to work on uh, making this work on your Steam Deck. And yeah, so make sure you do that first. So obviously we are here in the desktop mode of the Steam Deck itself. So you don't need to have a separate Windows device or, or work on your phone or anything at all like that. Just boot into the uh, uh, desktop mode of your Steam Deck and you are good to go on this uh, uh, port. So you're going to go over to the GitHub page of the, the person or persons. I'm not sure if it's a group or, or if it's just one, one person. I don't know. So this is the GitHub page for the PC port. And you can obviously read through this yourself whenever you want. Got all the notes here about which particular ROMs are supported. They do recommend, like I said, the version 1.1 US ROM. Just FYI, uh, there are some notes there on other versions if that's what you have. So just take a look at that yourself. And then you can scroll down here. It lists all the features, 60 frames per second, dual analog controller support, mouse support, widescreen resolution. It's a great, great port. If you've not heard of this, it's 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 a really tremendous uh, a bit of work. And the fact that it works well on the on the deck is, is a great bonus as well. So you're going to want to go to the uh, download section here and we'll just download the Linux version. Uh, again, some of these some of the projects like this, they work better if you do the Windows version on a Windows PC and then move the files over. You don't need to do any of that here on uh, uh, for the Perfect Dark one. So you're just going to download the Linux uh, download here. Uh, you can see I've already got got it downloaded. Just in my downloads section here, I've already got the, uh, uh, the, the relevant file downloaded. So you can just download that there and uh, uh, go to your downloads. So once you got this little file downloaded, you're just going to want to extract the contents of it. And you're going to want to put these wherever, just wherever you want. It doesn't really matter where they go. Um, uh, again, I downloaded the file to the download section of the Steam Deck, but you can put them anywhere you want. It's really up to yourself. Me personally, I put them on my SD card. Doesn't have to be on your SD card. It can go wherever you go. One thing I would say, wherever you're extracting them, though, make a folder that just says Perfect Dark or Perfect Dark PC or whatever way you want to do it. Um, so I'm going to go see down here where it says primary. This is my uh, this is my SD card. So I'm going to quickly jump into my SD card and show you how I have the files organized on my side. So yeah, I made a folder and I just called it perfect underscore dark uh, just to put the, the files in. And these are the two files that are in that zip file that you'll have just extracted. Okay, we've got pd.exe and then we've got a folder that says data. Okay, and you click into that. And you'll see a text file that says put your ROM here.txt. There's nothing actually in that text file. It is literally just a basic instruction for you to put your ROM file uh, in this folder. Okay, so you can even just, once you've done that, you can actually just, uh, you know, well, I'll leave it there. But that's, this is what's in the, the data folder. Okay, so you put your uh, Perfect Dark N64 ROM in this folder. And you can see here, I've actually renamed it. That's a recommendation uh, uh, of the GitHub. So you can see here, uh, put your perfect dark ROM named pd.ntse-final.z64 into it, okay? So you have to use the name they recommend, okay, for the port to, to work. Uh, and then they just say run pd.exe, and then you're, you're off to the races. You've got the PC port of the game working. But again, we're on the Steam Deck, so a little, little extra step just, just uh, to get it working on game mode. You're going to have to add that file to the uh, uh, to Steam, okay? So we're going to go over here, and I've already got mine added, okay? 
so so what we're going to do is i'm just going to talk through the the process of of adding that and uh, and how you get that up and running so if you haven't ever added a game to Steam this way, if you've only ever purchased games on Steam and you've never added a, a, a mod or a fan-developed game to Steam before, what you just need to do is click at the bottom left icon here, Add a Game. And then you want to click Add a non-Steam game. And, you know, it'll check for all your, your, your programs and the things that you've got installed on, on your deck. What you want to do is go to Browse. And then you want to navigate to the folder you set up there just a moment ago with the pd.exe file in it, okay? Again, mine is on my uh, SD card, so I'm going to go primary. I've got it in this folder for kind of modded games here. Uh, I've got a couple of different ones. Click into my perfect dark folder. Uh, you need to change the filter down here at the bottom to all files, so you can see your pd.exe file. So we'll click that. It's going to add it to this list here, this program list. And you're going to say, add selected programs. There we go. I've got a little search set up here. So I said, I just searched for PD. So this is the one we just added. Okay. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is add a um, uh, launch option in the properties. Okay. This is something you're going to need to do to get the game to launch properly. All right. So uh, I'm going to leave, it's quite a lengthy string of commands. Uh, so I'm going to put it in the video description below, along with the GitHub address and all that other stuff. Uh, basically, if you don't have this launch command, you can uh, use, you know, uh, uh, Steam runtime to run this game, but it does crash every now and then. And so this is the workaround they're using at the moment. I found this on the Steam Deck Reddit. So shout out to that very tremendous community. Uh, always lots of great support on, on the Steam Deck Reddit. So I'm going to Go over here to the cog here for settings. I'm going to go to properties. I'm going to go to launch options. And I'm just going to paste this command in. I will put it again in the description below. It's quite a long string. I'm not going to read it out. So I will just put it in the description below and you guys can copy and paste it. So there's your command there in the launch options. I would just copy and paste it exactly as it is. Don't add it or change anything about it. And we will just close that properties there. And then we will launch our game. And there you have it. We are now up and running with the PC port of Perfect Dark on your Steam Deck. And like you'll notice straight away here as the game fires up that it is a very crisp, very nice looking version of the game. Um, I actually think this is a nicer looking, better way to play this game than... Um, than the xbox version which is a, which is a great version of the game you know uh, you can still play it on modern xbox consoles but this is you know it's it's widescreen it's 60 frames per second it's got controller support it's got mouse and keyboard support um it's just got a whole bunch of options it's a really 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 tremendous way to play this classic classic game all right so now that the game is up and running on your steam deck how do you get your nice little album art here and stuff like that uh, 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 to, to show, to make it look all official like a regular Steam game. Well, so obviously, first thing you're going to do is right-click PD again and then go to Properties. And then you can just rename it. Call it Perfect Dark, you know, parentheses PC, or just call it Perfect Dark, whatever way you want to have it. I have mine labeled as Perfect Dark PC because I also have the N64 version on here, the original N64 version, so I can distinguish between which one is the PC and which one is the emulated N64. So just FYI, if you want to call it whatever you want to call it, okay? And so for the next step of the process, we're going to switch back to game mode, because again, we've been in desktop mode this whole time. So again, I would rename this file to Perfect Dark, whatever way you want to label it, and then jump back to game mode. Alrighty, so you got Perfect Dark working on your Steam Deck, the PC version, the real deal. How do you get your nice little artwork here to show in Steam game mode? Well, this is a little bonus. This is not something you'd have to do. You don't need this, but I hate looking at those gray blocks in the Steam OS when you don't have artwork. So here's a recommendation. Uh, there is a program called Decky, uh, which you can get. I'll leave a link to a tutorial. I'm not going to talk too much about Decky um, uh, uh, on this video because that's a whole separate topic. Most of you probably already know what it is. I'm not going to go in, in depth on it. It's basically a side loading app that lets you customize uh, uh, the features and the look of the Steam Deck, okay? And it also has a bunch of plugins that allow you to further customize it. And one of them uh, is a plugin that pulls data from Steam Grid DB. Steam Grid DB obviously is a database that 
collate all of this artwork, uh, you know, all of these uh, video game covers and alternate covers and fan covers uh, uh, for games. Uh, Steam Grid DB compiles all of it, and this plugin uh, uh, allows you to pull it all from within Steam OS and apply artwork to your games without having to manually download it from a website and things like that. So, just want to give a quick shout out to that here. If I open the quick access menu here, which is this, uh, uh, you know, this uh, right hand side of, of, of the Steam Deck, that's the three dot button on the right side of the Steam Deck. Uh, we go down here to this is the Decky plugin, and it is called it's just called Steam Grid DB. I'll get my big head out of the way. Steam Grid DB, all one word. And when you have that installed, what happens is if you just press start here on Perfect Dark PC, as I've labeled it. Sometimes it doesn't always initially load in, so I'll have to exit out and go again. Go down here, change artwork, okay? Takes a quick second to load, and then it gives you a bunch of these options here for how you want the game to look on your homepage. And if you've got a bunch of these, you know, you've got them with little labels on top, so obviously this is not the N64 version, so I'm going to use one of these other images. You've got the vertical image. If you press the right bumper, you scroll over to these horizontal ones. You've got the hero, which is the background image when you click into the game. You've got the logo. This is an essential plugin for the Steam Deck. Not just for this Perfect Dark PC port, but just in general. I would consider this a must-have for the Steam Deck. So let me exit back out of it here. And as you can see, I've been able to label this is the N64 emulated version of Perfect Dark. And then I've got just Perfect Dark artwork for the PC version. Just a nice way to distinguish between the two of them. But more important than anything else, I just think it makes the menus on the Steam Deck look much better. So that's a little bonus recommendation here for the end of this video. Install Decky on your Steam Deck. It is the ultimate customization tool for the Steam Deck. And then install the Steam Grid DB plugin. And then once you've set up your Perfect Dark PC port, you can also put some nice artwork on it as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Shout out to all the people who made the, uh, who did the actual work on the game here. Uh, uh, the, the, the PC port, the decompilation project, the folks who designed Decky, the folks who work at Steam Grid DB. All the great work these people do here that make the Steam Deck such a great, great, great piece of kit. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, uh, do give it now a like and a subscribe if you did. And uh, I will be back with more videos like this in the near future. Thanks very much.